Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we're going to be going over why you should get a Bitverse Hero and what benefits they come with. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you right now that I am out of energy, both on PvP and Gauntlet, and that's going to pretty much show you one advantage, and it's not a big one, but I'm just going to start it off with something small. If you do have a boost, like this one has 16 minutes, 23 seconds, this one has 60 minutes, 25 seconds, and you don't want to waste them, you can easily just share the same boost, sharing consumables on another account. I'm going to go from one of my Bitverse heroes here to my main account. And as you can see here in just a second, you will see that we do have my super scroll popped, same time and my capture rate tune popped same time now why is that useful well for one you can share consumables if you really don't want to use all of a boost on one account let's say you want to just farm familiars on your main account because you're already caught up on gear but you want to farm gear on your other account you can do energy and raids let's say on your main account and you can do stuff like pvp gauntlet gbg on any of your other accounts obviously if they're within the tiers that have them accessible um, that's another thing that you can do with your bit first heroes that's something that i think is very valuable that way you can pretty much maximize your boost and take full advantage of it especially for those that really love to play bit heroes that's a very good way to approach it now what else is very beneficial and valuable with the bit first heroes well, to continue off with the sharing consumables, you can also get monthly rewards that are shared across the account. So what does that mean? That means that the consumable doesn't have to be popped or used to share like this boost is. You could just take advantage of getting your monthly Bitgore on each of your heroes, which is your Bitverse heroes and your normal hero, and share them. So if you have essentially, let's say, three Bitverse heroes, right? I currently have, have only two. If you have three Bitverse heroes and one normal hero, that means that you'll get a Bitgore every week, pretty much. Obviously, depending on when it falls, you can get four a month, but you can spend them every weekend if you want, once every weekend. There's four weeks in a month. So if you have three Bitverse heroes and one normal hero, you will be getting enough Bitgores to run once a week which is extremely valuable big gores can help you get so much gear so easily it's an amazing boost and it's just really really reliable in my opinion so that alone in itself is fantastic um what else can you do well there's obviously other rewards that you get throughout the month which are like super scrolls capture rate tombs very very nice but what else can you do well there are events in Bit Heroes, kind of like the Easter event, the Valentine's Day event, a bunch of events, right? So what does that mean? That means that you can get some event currency during events and roll that boost box to get a chance of getting a Bit Gore or whatever fantastic gore they happen to have in that box for that event. Almost every single event I have been a part of has had a Bit Gore, and if it hasn't had a Bit Gore, it has had something very, very valuable, either close to it or better. So that's something that you can get on each of your heroes. So that means I can get one on my rare World Eater Bitverse Hero and on my new common Bitverse Hero Fancy Feast Addict, which I'll be showcasing you here in a second because they are a very nice looking Bitverse Hero that I just want to show off. Um, so that means I can essentially get three Bitgores, one for my main and two for my Bitverse Heroes just from that boost box alone, which let me tell you right now, just doing regen, you can easily roll that whole box, even if you get that item last in the gotcha boost box, you can still roll the whole thing and have enough to roll some more other boxes as well, just by doing regen. So that's going to be three big gores from that box, along with the three monthly big gores you get just for logging into the game. I haven't even talked about the best part of the bit first heroes yet, and it already sounds extremely compelling. Now, what else can you do? Well, you can obviously tier camp. And let me go ahead and show you right now, but just by going to Fancy Feast Attic. And the reason why I'm going to Fancy Feast Attic, which is my new Bitverse here, by the way, is so I can go ahead and show you um, what you can actually get in this game at the beginning with a new Bitverse hero. This Bitverse hero is literally from day to day, one week old exactly 
probably a little less if you're counting the hours, but it's literally only one week old. So what does that mean? That means this is going to be the very beginning of my adventure, and this should be more or less what you're averaging um, for your weekly from the start. And what does that mean? Every category has its own rewards. And by that, I mean PvP has its own rewards and Gauntlet has its own rewards. Obviously, if you had something else here for any other heroes, it would have its own rewards that you could share amongst your account if it's player bound. Now, PvP in tier two, mind you, has rewards of gems. That means that you can share these gems with your other heroes on the account. Now, I literally just started. I rank 142 right now and there's six hours left so that shows you that on week one no no nothing's popped only obviously just real basic stuff for capturing stuff um nothing's popped for tickets and nothing's popped for gauntlet i haven't popped a single ticket roll or a single token duffel on this account and i was able to score uh, to rank 142 what does that mean well my rewards are going to be 51 to 250 800 gems for this one pvp and for gauntlet i rank 142 here and i'm going to be getting another 800 gems here i'm going to be getting 1600 gems just from those two on just this account if i did the exact same thing on my other account which i did way better on my other account which is this world leader here i will be getting 1600 gems or more again that means i'll be getting 3200 gems that's insane value insane trust me let me go to the shop so I'll be having 3,200 gems. What does that mean? Like right now, ticket rolls, shard baskets, everything's for sale, right? If I do times five, that's only 3,000. I'll still have 200 gems. I can get five shard baskets. That's 100 runs of raids that I'll get every week just playing regen on two Bitverse heroes. That's insane. I still have the 200 gems left over, and that's not even counting any gems that I get from my main or any gems that I get running energy in D4s or any dungeons. Which, honestly, if I was going to run energy like crazy on this, I would probably say I'd be getting on this account scoring within the 250 range. I would probably be getting around 2000 to 2500 gems just on this account if I didn't spend any of my gems. I would be getting that much after the whole week's reset. And that would be stacked on with this one, making it around almost four to five K gems, just these two accounts. You can easily, easily feed that into any account you want to focus on and make that account so much stronger, which is what I've been doing to run my main account. I am mostly free to play. A lot of people think that I'm not. Obviously, I buy some cosmetic bundles, but the cosmetics don't do any justice for me. They just look cool. Um, most of my stuff is bought with gems. The only thing I do buy uh, most of the time in the shop is usually like the monthly gem box or some really cool cosmetic bundle. I don't buy anything crazy. I don't buy XXL packs, even though they are really good value for what you're getting. I don't buy those. Like I mainly just spend my money on the Bitverse heroes to get them. And then once I get them, I make them a little strong if possible. Like I was able to roll a few boxes with my last week's gems for my other NFT hero. And I was able to get this epic accessory, which is nothing crazy, but it does help. And yeah, um, that's all I really do really. I, I just take advantage of the gems and and I keep up with all the top dogs. And honestly, that's insane in itself. What else can you do? Yes, there's still more. What else can you do? Well, each Bitverse hero actually has their own guild honor. Guild honor, you obviously get 10% from all guild XP earned. So it also stacks with your contribution. If you wanna be a very um, contributing member of your guild, just playing regen on your bid versus heroes will give a lot like i just started this 2.3 million that's a week 2.3 million in a week of regen it's crazy you know like you're just putting in all that and that's going to go to your guild contribution which helps with your guild level congrats again rev level 700 let's keep climbing but it doesn't just stop there obviously we talked about honor each hero has their own honor each hero has their own honor. What does that mean? Well, that means that you can easily, easily, easily just keep stacking honor and buying zeal pouches, which again is player bound. So it's usable by any hero in this account and just farm away when you have a bunch of them stacked. 
What I recommend doing is if you do plan to farm weekly, every one of your accounts, you can just buy zeals with your um, guild honor. And then at the end of the week, use all of your gems on shards and then just buy or just use your, your big ore and just run it. That's all you got to do, run it. If you really are impatient, you can just do that every week if you have three bit versus heroes, which is what I aim for. And I think that is the ideal amount of heroes for somebody, but obviously not needed. But that is pretty much five reasons that I really, really recommend getting them. Uh, a lot of people seem to be against them. I'm friends with a lot of those people. I don't care. That's their opinion. But in my opinion, I honestly think these are very valuable. And if you plan on spending any money on bit heroes, why not just buy a bit versus hero and save some more money down the road if you're already planning to spend it? Um, that's my take on it. I really just felt like this video had to come out. Trust me when I say this, bit versus heroes are worth getting. I wasn't paid for this. I really wish I was, but I was not paid for this. I just really want um, people to thrive in this game. I want people to stop being afraid of things just because other people are warning them. It's because they don't like it, you know? Um, this is pretty much just uh, telling you that they're worth getting. Thank you so much for your time. If you guys disagree with me on this, leave it in the comments below. Um, we can always talk about it. I'm not going to fight with anybody. If you guys agree with me on this, leave it down there as well. If you guys have anything you want to talk about at all, questions, concerns, anything, hit me up in those comments. I'll reply them. I promise. I read them and reply most of them if I can. Um, one other thing, I do have something else I'm doing for the channel. Um, it's nothing crazy. I'm trying to rename this rare Bitverse hero because it's also named World Eater and I kind of just want to have a different name like Fancy Feast Addict. So if you guys have any name ideas for this rare NFT, please leave it in the comments below and the one with the most likes might win the name slot for this hero. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.